Hello legends, today we're going to see how I react to my second COVID-19 vaccination. So hello legends and welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Link as always. It's a very impromptu and very disorganised vlog today. The reason is, I thought I was having my second COVID jab on the Wednesday. It's been brought forward to today. So, I told you guys I was going to vlog it. I haven't been very organised. It's like lunchtime I'm starting this vlog, so my morning wasn't interesting. I've not filmed for two weeks. Life's been crazy. I'll fill you in on that after I've had the jab, I think, because otherwise I'm going to be late for my appointment. I need to go and get this vaccination done. It's my second one. I had the Pfizer for my first injection, which I assume means I get Pfizer for the second one. Is that how it works? We'll find out in a bit, I'm sure. Very rushed, very disorganised intro to the video, which is why I'm sat on a spinny chair in the middle of the room and I'm holding my camera myself because I don't have time to set anything up properly. But hopefully it's better later in the video. But if not, sorry. The main thing is you guys want to see, does the second vaccination harm me, all right? Because the first one was fine. I didn't even feel it and I didn't have any side effects. But a lot of people have told me, when you get the second one, if the first one did nothing... The second one is going to fuck you up. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to go finish getting ready. Just before I leave, not sure if it's just me, but does anyone else still like religiously check their temperature with one of these things? I'm still checking it a lot. Even though I have two lateral flow tests a week for work, and I had another one yesterday because I went to visit my mum at a nursing home. So 35.5 is... Fairly all right. We're good to go. But yeah, is anyone else still checking it all the time, even though you have tests every day because it is a symptom and you might not realise? Also, if I look red, I spent all day yesterday in the sun and my skin does this weird thing where it goes ready pink for like a day and then it will just start tanning on its own. I never really get burnt, but it just kind of tans like that. Let's go get the vaccination. We are on the way to the hospital, my girlfriend's driving me, so I don't have to walk or get a taxi or whatever. I'm hoping it goes okay, the first one was absolutely fine, but a lot of people have warned me if the first one's good, the second one's bad, or if the first one's bad, the second one is normally good, so no idea what I'm expecting here. A little bit nervous, not the biggest fan of hospitals as we've discussed in other vlogs before, like when I had to go for a foot x-ray. Let's just see how we go, but yeah, it's about... But it's exactly seven minutes before we're going to the sat nav to the hospital. I was going to say it's about ten minutes away. Seven minutes left. And yeah, so we'll be there. And then hopefully I know where I'm going this time. Because if you watched the last vlog where I had my first vaccination, I had no idea what I was doing or where I was going. But this time, I should know it all before we get there. So yeah, should be there soon. Wish me luck. There we have it. It's very wobbly because we're driving to the hospital. Welcome to another episode of Link Gets Lost. None of the parking meters in the whole car park are working. So, I haven't paid to probably get a parking fine. Couldn't find one at works. Now I need to try to find an entrance. I think I remember from last time, but hopefully I do. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we'll go get it over. I don't know if they let me film it. They let me film it last time. If they don't let me film it, go watch my other video to see what the actual injection is like. See you soon. There is signs everywhere like last time. So I should be able to find it. I hope. Hospitals always look weird when there's only like two people in. I always expect them to be busy. Especially mid pandemic. So I'm out. Looks like I've got to go this way. Where am I going the wrong way? I'm not sure. It's like construction going on. Here at the minute. So I don't know if I'm going the wrong way but I can't pass all that. I think I could be. Yeah. I told you I always get lost. It's like it's because they have one way in and then they have another way out. 
you go in in one direction, you go out in the absolute opposite direction, and then it's just like, great, I'm like, lost, so let's go this way, wish me luck, and try to find my way back to the car park, it just doesn't look like it's this way, way up, the shine's on the floor. <laughs> well, as well as signs on the floor, there's signs on the window. Yeah, I think I could be lost because the way out signs have stopped. So, wish me luck. Another sign there. We're back in business. Gift shop is always near the entrance. I think I found it. Yeah. There we go. It's the way out. Does that does that thing remind you of the trailers that they have? You know like the rides you have where it's like being in a spaceship? It's like a simulator. That's what those trailer things remind me of every time. So, didn't let me film the vaccine, but it wasn't the end of the world. This one, I felt it a little bit more than the last one. Uh, the last one, I didn't actually realise it was done. This one, I did realise it was being done. I felt a tiny scrape, but it wasn't bad at all. Um, I had to sit for 15 minutes afterwards, which, you know, I couldn't film as well. And then obviously the clip you just saw was me leaving and getting lost again and walking into a building site instead of the fucking car park, which was pretty tremendous. But yeah, so now basically driving home, it's 15 minutes, after 15 minutes wait, I didn't feel any side effects or anything. I'm gonna go home, it's like the afternoon, so I won't be eating or anything for a while. I'll probably, when I get in, have a bit of a chat, update you a little bit on my life, tell you what's been going on while there's not been a video for like a couple of weeks and we'll just have a little bit of a, a catch up. It's probably not the most exciting vlog in terms of the vlog aspect today, but it's been a little while. I've been too busy to do anything more exciting. So hopefully you're enjoying it and hopefully we have no side effects from the vaccine like last time. Fingers crossed. So I'm home now. I've been home like half an hour, 45 minutes, somewhere around there. Bit of a situation. I've got a little tiny, tiny bit of a headache going on. Very slight. It's not bad. So I thought, I'll go sit in bed, watch some TV in bed, just chill. And my Amazon Fire Stick's broke. It's all working, but it won't connect to the internet. It will connect to my router, but it won't connect to the internet. But other stuff is connected to my router and to the internet, like my phone and stuff. So the internet's working, but the Fire TV just isn't recognising the internet, even though it's recognising the router. So I've had to speak to Amazon customer service for like half hour trying to get it sorted. They're going to send me another one out, so that's good service from Amazon, as they normally are. But yeah, I've got a little bit of a headache. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm like tired where I've been working quite a lot, which is why I haven't filmed a video for a couple of weeks. Work has been totally crazy. I've started working in the office for now. I'm waiting for like an official decision on what my job is going to be going forwards. Um, so it's all a bit weird at work at the moment. It's stressful, you know, not knowing what you're doing, wondering what you're doing, wanting to find out, wanting to hear. But yeah, I feel pretty healthy, but I do have a bit of a headache, but I'm not sure if that's from being tired or from the vaccine, just as like a bit of a disclaimer because I haven't been resting as much as I normally do but that's why there's also not been a video for a couple of weeks guys because work's been crazy hoping to get things a bit more normal in the next couple of weeks hopefully if I do start working in the office permanently that means I'll do like Monday to Friday nine to five which will allow more for like a YouTube schedule because I won't be working random days and nights and stuff also it should allow me to get back on the twitch hopefully and get streaming for you guys because at the moment I've been working like nights, if some of them are waking nights, some of them have been sleeping, I've been doing days, mornings, afternoons, nights, evenings, everything. So it will be pretty good to get that all sorted out and get 
back on track, hopefully, and get streaming. I miss streaming. I haven't streamed on Twitch in so, so long. And, yeah, make sure you're all following me on Twitch. Ready for it. It's just twitch.tv slash link good. And, but, yeah, it's it's a bit weird to be vlogging because I haven't filmed for, like, a couple of weeks. It's always weird when you film yourself after a couple of weeks. But, yeah, so it's an hour and 15 minutes-ish after the vaccine, something like that. I feel okay. I don't feel any bad side effects. I don't feel anything on my arm. Um, there's nothing there still. Same as the last time. There's no massive like wound where it went in or anything. But yeah, I feel fairly good. There's no pain. But I do have a tiny, tiny bit of a headache. It's not bad. But it's one of those ones where, you know, you start drinking a bit of water. Just, just to try and sort of stave it off before it gets bad. You know what I mean. I get migraines quite regular, so it's not really a big deal. I want to stress that. Although I have a headache, it's not a big deal, but I do just want to chill, relax, drink plenty of water. I'm sure I'll be fine. But no other side effects just yet, but I will carry on. Probably for like 24 hours from when I had the vaccine done, although I will be at work. So... It will go just past 24 hours and I'll probably tell you on the way home how I felt. Or maybe I'll wait till I get home from work tomorrow. I don't know yet. I'll work it out. But yeah, I feel okay. I feel pretty good. I'm glad to have the second vaccine. That's something I'm really excited about. I'm also getting my lateral flow test like twice a week for work now. So that's pretty good because I'm getting checked twice a week to see if I've got COVID, which is really good. And this week, I saw my mum in the care home for the first time, which was really nice. It was a really emotional sort of little experience. It was something that was quite strange. I haven't seen my mum for months. My mum has dementia, so it's always a bit worrying. Because the thing that I'm always worried about, and you know, this is not to get boring, guys, but the thing that I always worry about is that day when she doesn't recognise me, I've still not had it yet. And I feel like once it happens once, it will it will be okay, it will be a thing, but I've still not had that first time when my mum doesn't recognise me, and I'm so nervous, every time I see her, I'm just, like my heart is going, and I'm panicking, because I don't want it to be that day, it's, and that, that might sound weird, I don't know if anyone else like has had family or friends or anyone with dementia, and they know what I mean, but I've never had that time when she doesn't recognise me and there's been other people that she hasn't recognised and I just don't know what it'll be like. That first time my mum doesn't recognise me when I see her, it's going to be really upset and it's going to be quite sad. But it was lovely to see my mum. My mum was so happy to see me. Um, it was weird because it was like in a COVID sort of time. You know, I've never... And my mum went into the care home during COVID so I've never visited her pre-covid so i don't know what the differences are but you know i had to be sanitized about 20 times had to wear a mask obviously put like a medical one i couldn't just wear like my own one had to wear an apron wasn't allowed to hug my mum you know wasn't allowed to give her a kiss and i was allowed to hold her hand and that was it but that was you know it was horrible it was honestly it was it was horrible and that is Probably the thing I'm most excited about when the pandemic's actually over is to like see my mum and be able to give her a hug. Because she said it a couple of times when I saw her and it's hard. Especially with her having dementia, it's really hard to be like, yeah, I can't hug you mum. I'd love to, but I'm not allowed. I can't. Which is horrible. But fingers crossed we're on the way out of this now, guys. But yeah. So that was a real weird and emotional experience yesterday. It was a funny day, but it means I've had three lateral flow tests this week, which is the reason I brought it up, which is quite weird. So I've been tested three times this week, all negative. And now I've had my second vaccination, which means in a few weeks I should be fairly safe. I know there's still that percentage where you're not and that percentage where you can still get it and everything, but on the whole, it should be quite good in a couple of weeks for me which is quite good but hopefully you guys will get yours soon let's see how i go over the next few hours i will i'll probably check in with you guys before i go to bed now i reckon unless anything dramatic happens before 
I'll probably just check in with you guys when I go to bed to tell you if I've had any extra symptoms or anything. But if anything crazy happens, you know, if I start growing an extra finger or something, I'll get the camera back on. It's quarter past ten. I feel really tired. I don't normally go to bed this early, but I'm actually going to bed now. I'm not going to bed to like watch TV either. I'm going to bed to actually sleep. I'm not sure if that's because I've had a busy couple of weeks or if that is because of the vaccine. I don't think it's the vaccine. I do think it's just because I'm like tired because I've had a really busy couple of weeks. I don't. I really don't think it is the vaccine, but it could be. So I want to mention it just so you guys know. But yeah, other than that, no side effects. I still feel fine. Everything is good. Everything is happy. Let's sleep on it and see how I am in the morning. Like I said, I've got work tomorrow. So I won't be filming that much. But I will be popping in every now and then and letting you know how things are going. So it is the next morning. It is about 20 to 8. I was up at about quarter past 7. I've had a shower but dressed myself. So I want to make sure I've done everything I needed to do for work before I started playing around filming. I don't feel ill, but I do feel tired. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I am tired or whether I'm like feeling the effects of the vaccine, but I do feel really, really tired. <sighs> As you can see. But yeah, literally, I feel tired. I feel fine though, the headache's gone, there's no headache now, I've got one annoying bit of hair sticking up on me, head, okay, that's still up, I have to go sort that out before I go to work, apart from that though, everything's pretty good in my life, I feel fine, having a second vaccine, time to go to work, so, I am actually back home, I didn't film anything while I was out and about, because I just kind of forgot to be honest, but yeah, it's about 15 hours, 16 hours after the vaccine now. No, it's not. It's about 27 hours after the vaccine. I was thinking it was like a day plus three hours. It's not 15, it's about 27. It's about 27 hours since my vaccine. I feel fine. Arm does ache a tiny bit in like the upper bicep. It's not bad. It's only if I like move it and stuff, I do feel the pain. So it isn't really horrific or anything. It's not an issue. I do feel tired still. Um... But no real side effects of the second vaccine, so I was quite lucky. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you've been getting on with your vaccines if you've had them. Let me know how your life is. How, how's things, legends? How you been? Some crazy horn just went off outside. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, upload schedule at the moment is a little bit getting tweaked because obviously I'm really busy with work. But I will fill you all in when I have sort of like a, a real plan. But do remember to stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed and you have the notification bell clicked so you get the notifications every time I come up with a new video so you don't miss it. And yeah, give the video a thumbs up to support me. And I will see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.